Hello and welcome back to Rob's Homemade Food and Recipes and today's recipe as I've said before will be my ultimate nachos we'll go through the ingredients first we have a mixture of chilli flakes, salt and garlic fresh green chilies diced a quick and simple barbecue sauce made with red sauce, brown sauce, brown sugar balsamic vinegar, salt and pepper and a dash of paprika about half a block of grated cheese your tortilla chips which are the cheapest Tesco ones I could find because with the amount of stuff we're going to be putting on this you don't need to buy Doritos and spend the extra money uh, pre-cooked onion rings my homemade sweet chilli salsa which is available over at robshomemade.com my mint mayonnaise, basically plain mayonnaise, dried mint leaves and a dash of lemon juice and just a sprinkle of oregano. Over here we have the mince for my ultimate nachos which has been cooking away for five to six minutes browning nicely with red onions, salt and pepper. about 500 grams of lean beef mince and half a red onion then we'll come over we'll grab the barbecue sauce and pour into the mince mixture and stir to combine all the ingredients I've got a beautiful barbecue mince smelling beautiful just turn up the heat just a tad make sure all the mince is coated in the lovely barbecue sauce Simple and easy barbecue sauce to make. Everything mixed together. And we should just leave that now on a low simmer and we will start constructing the nachos. Over at the nachos, I prefer to use a wooden board for presentation, but a bowl or a plate is fine. A big handful of the nachos spread on the board, however, which way you want. The garlic, chili, salt, like I said, because of the flavourings we're putting on this, I just buy the cheap Tesco nachos. I think 49 pence a bag do the job perfectly grab a decent handful of the cheese sprinkle over some people melt their cheese in a microwave obviously doing it on a plate the board wouldn't fit in my microwave but I prefer to let the cheese melt naturally on its own so we'll just pop back over to the mince give it another quick stir all the ingredients lovely combined smells absolutely beautiful this this nachos perfect for a film night got the kids around you got family friends you pop this in front of them while sat in front of the film everyone's going to be happy right my sweet chilli salsa just a smidgen spread over and then dollop the mint mayonnaise wherever you want it don't really matter I've cooked off 10 onion rings so we'll have one two three four five on this layer we shall bring over the mince which, like I say, we've now been cooking for probably seven or eight minutes, a couple of minutes with barbecue sauce, just to warm it through. 
and then we can start spooning on. Like I said, the heat of the mince will melt the cheese anyway, which is why I don't generally microwave my cheese. Like I said earlier, it is an ultimate nachos, so it's going to be big. But there's more than enough for a family of three, family of four, to tuck in while watching your favourite film. So once again, layer the nachos, some more of the garlic, chilli salt seasoning on the second layer. Once again, leave about half of the cheese for the top, stack it up. And then the second part of the mince. Oh man, this is, this is amazing. Your family or friends will love this. It's a beast. <clears throat> Some more onion rings, just to gaze at the top. Like I say, wherever you can find room, blanc them on. Some more salsa. Wherever you feel you need it. The mint mayo, a couple of splodges here and there. Like I say, it hasn't got to be pretty, but everyone will love it. And then just for the final touches, I'll move all the, everything out of the way, just to finish it off. Some more cheese in the middle. And then the green chilies just sprinkle over some people don't like chilies but same as this menu I'm not a big fan of guacamole so I don't use it in my recipes but if you like guacamole add it on not a problem and then the oregano just leisurely sprinkled I love oregano it gives that Mexican taste and feel and the Italian in. So there we go. That is Rob's homemade food and recipes, ultimate nachos. And as you can see, it's a bit of a beast. But sat in front of the telly, watching a film, watching the X Factor, watching whatever you fancy, you, your kids, your family will love it. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Any comments, please leave below. Please like, share, subscribe, and any ideas for any more recipes you would like me to see do, please leave a comment below. Thank you very much, and hopefully see you next week. Thank you very much. Good day.